excited to welcome Jeannie Peters. She's a registered dietitian who lives right here in El Segundo. Welcome, yes. Jeannie. Thanks, Michelle. And you operate a wellness center? Yes. Can you tell us the name and where Nourishing it is? Nourishing Wellness Medical Center in Redondo Beach. Okay. Well, Jeannie's here to tell us about how to ramp up our immune system during this pandemic. But before we get into vitamins, because I wanted to ask you about vitamins, if you can tell us about what we should not be eating necessarily at this point. We know there's a lot of people at home probably snacking a lot too. Sure. How does that affect our health? I think the number one thing I would say is foods that quickly turn to sugar, which are gonna be you know, a lot of your processed carbohydrates, you know, white flour, white sugar, those sorts of things. They can really ramp, uh, they can cause our immune system to actually ramp down I mean, mm -hmm. uh, by 50%, even just with the smallest amount. So, you know, be aware of that. I mean, you know, we all love to snack, but I think, you know, anything in which mindful snacking that's leading to foods that are gonna raise our blood sugars is gonna have an impact on your immune system. Okay, well, some experts are saying that our body actually has everything it needs to fight off COVID-19. What do you think? You know, I think that if you were eating well mm -hmm. and you're sleeping well mm -hmm. and you're getting out and you're exercising so that you're keeping circulation going and you're helping to upregulate your immune system through physical activity, um, you might be just fine. Um, so we know that there are people out there who have had COVID-19 and it lasted four or five days. It was very mm -hmm. mild. So I think the reality is that's not most people, though. Most people probably don't have the best circumstances. People are anxious right now. People mm -hmm. aren't sleeping as well as they should. But you know, ultimately, sleep, stress, who isn't feeling some stress? So those things really have an impact on the immune system. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we recommend to our clients is an app called Headspace to help them just meditate you know, for five minutes maybe or three minutes just to help calm them down and so that they have a tool to go to to help them feel right. more empowered. Well, what should we be eating? <laughs> wow, I, you know, Doc and I recommend what we call a low inflammatory diet. Okay. So inflammation is one of the big hallmarks of COVID-19. You know, the inflammation is so much out of control in the respiratory area mm -hmm. that it's creating something called these cytokines. In order to calm that down, we're looking at things like, you know, meat, fish, or poultry, you know, preferably good quality, some eggs, uh, you know, some vegetables every day with color. So looking at trying to get as much color from both your fruits and your vegetables will really provide you the antioxidants to help to offset some of the inflammatory responses that could occur with somebody who gets exposed to COVID-19. Good information. And don't forget to check out elsegundo.org for all the latest and accurate information on COVID-19.